doing some maintenance on my TT01 and one of the things I, I try to refresh is getting rid of the slop so this one is yeah. after a few races and weekends uh, it's, the slop is kind of big maybe let's say almost two degrees of movement and that will probably make the car less precise to drive uh, steering is delayed the camber kind of moves all over the place and this one I just refreshed it rebuilt and basically zero there's no there's no slop at all and so this should feel better on the track and this one is yeah very sloppy uh, how do I do it I just use super glue and q-tips and I've done the, some videos of this before but let me just redo a little bit but it's important that sometimes uh, some slop is good because once you're when, when you're turning or you put a lot of pressure there, uh, there might be binding if your car is too much the tolerance is too tight but I feel if I start off with this tolerance it will eventually build some slop anyway after a, uh, a run or two so it's okay and where does the slop come from it comes from the bearings and the axle so it's a you have slop this way and you have slop this way and normally you find slop in Tamiya cars more so than others <laughs> but yeah this one is aftermarket I use it for practice because it's hard to find the original plastic steering knuckles so if it breaks it's hard to replace so for practice or non Tamiya strict rules I use this cheap China knuckles alright so what I do is sometimes the bearing is very loose here so offhand I put um, just a very thin amount of super glue here very very thin if you overdo it, it the bearing will not fit so it's just my experience I know on a small cotton bud where the bearings would go yeah, just a small amount no need to go overboard just a little that's where the slop is and then the other part where slop is is here the, the bearing and the knuckle there's a uh, some wiggle room if I can wiggle it yeah so if it falls out if it falls out very easily then I believe there's a little slop the one on the inside is pretty okay uh, It also applies to plastic knuckles. I do the same. Yep. Again, it's by experience. You don't need a lot. Uh, otherwise, it's too tight. But when you use cotton buds it absorbs the super glue anyway so it's easier to spread 
without it being too thick. Then you let it dry and reassemble. Sometimes trial and error, if you feel there's still more slop, you have to figure out where to apply more glue. And yep. If you do it enough times, you, you get satisfaction of perfect. So there's no slop this way. There's none. At the same time, there's no slop this way. And yet it still spins freely. Uh, that's just uh, bench racing. <laughs> so you see, if I hold this, this thing will not move at all. There's no, there's nothing at all. So this is zero slop in my, uh, this is one of the better builds I've done. I like it. But obviously, once you run on the track, it will develop slop eventually. I don't know why, but it does. And I start off with this and it becomes like that. So after a few races, I, I do maintenance work. Try to refresh the car. Clear off some slop. Whether it's faster or not, uh, probably faster. It should be. Uh, psychologically, it helps. I think it will. Slop is never really good. Too much. A little maybe too much. Yeah. Alright, that's it. For those who are asking me how, how to remove some slop, here it is. <laughs>